guys, AC here, and welcome to this tutorial on how to get a compiler. Um, firstly, let's really quickly run through what a compiler is. Basically, the compiler is what makes your code into binary that the computer can understand. So when you type in stuff and you run it, the computer doesn't actually read the actual letters. It compiles it into zeros and ones, binary, and it then reads that, which it can understand, because... Um, zeros and ones is basically just a representation of on and off and that's how the computer works out calculations and everything okay um so quick explanation we're going to be looking at how to get two compilers the dev c++ one and the microsoft visual c++ one now these two both come with built in I I um, ides which is integrated development environment which is basically their text editor okay and um an example of where one won't come with a text editor is, uh, for example, on Linux, you've got a default compiler, I think it's a GCC compiler, or something like that, and you have to write out your code in a text editor, and then you go into terminal and say compile that file, okay? So that's an example of one that doesn't come with um, an IDE. Um, so now we've covered basically all of that, let's download our file, really, that's the only thing left to do. Um, we're just going to search Microsoft Visual C++ Express Edition, okay, and really simply select the top option. The, we want the 2008 one, I don't think they come out with the 2009 one. If they have, um, when you're watching this, then great, get that one, because uh, it's more up to date. You select the language and download, and that's it. It's just an installer, really simple to install. Uh, then for Dev C++ again, just Google Dev C++. It's the top one. You go, you click on that, download, then click on the Dev C++ there. Then you go to download page, and you want the top one where it says Dev C++ 5.0 beta, blah blah blah, with Mini GW or Min GW, sorry. Um, and then you download from SourceForge, okay? And that will get you both of those um, compilers and IDs. Once you've installed them, you'll have both this UI, where you can go file new, file new source file, and then start typing in your code. That's the way you do it in Dev C++. In C++ Express, Visual C++ Express Edition, you go new, file new project, Win32 console app, you do random or, or name it whatever you want. Um, then you go next, create an em empty console, pro empty project. Click that tick box, and then you just click finish. Okay. Then right click source files, add new item, C++ file, and then type in a name. I'll just call it main.cpp. Then enter, and then you can start typing in code here. Okay. Okay, and that will compile. He's used Pi. Okay. Um, so, really quick tutorial on what a compiler is, how to get one, for um, anyone who didn't understand that before when we first started. Okay. So over now, guys.